everyone and welcome my name is tisa and it's so great to have you here i'm here right now looking into the air signs right now it's aquarius libra and gemini we're looking into the next 24 hours which is july the 12th i'm gonna go ahead and say the 13th as well because some people are in another country and their time frame is a little bit different right but this is the next 24 hours from when you see this video all right so let's see what we have right here, this is air signs, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. All right, let's see here, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. You could be in a relationship with a Sagittarius. Those two cards that flip down there was Sagittarius and four one. So maybe you're in a relationship with a Sagittarius. Maybe you live with a Sagittarius. All right, let's see what's going down here. Air signs, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Two of Swords. Okay. So the two of swords right there is a stalemate. It is avoiding something right here. Okay. Maybe you're avoiding some type of decision or something like that. Yeah. All right. I feel like you're avoiding um conflict in some type of way. I'm like, you're not open up to some conflict right here. You know? For some of you, maybe you're avoiding the conflict. Because that's like, I just don't have the time for it or something like that right here. Okay. Yeah. I feel like you're victorious at ignoring them. Something like that for some people here. Okay. Yeah. The star card. I'm like, you kind of win or something like that. Okay. I feel like somebody did want your attention or something, I feel here. But I feel like you straight ignored them. So leave me a comment down below. But for some of you, you could ignore them. Okay. It could be Aquarius over here. The star card is Aquarius, right? All right. But I feel like they definitely did want your attention. Okay. The strength card right there, right? Could be a Leo or a Virgo, maybe. I just feel like you had the strength to look the other way or just ignore them or avoid them. Something like that. Um, it's like if they want your attention, they're going to have to come and say something to you then or something like that. All right. Because I feel like you're going to ignore them or avoid it or something like that. And if it's not you, it certainly could be them. So it could be either way. Okay. Eight of swords right here and um, six of pentacles right there. So I had the Eight of Swords right here, Six of Pentacles right here, and um, the Strength card, and the Queen of uh, Pentacles. All right. So basically, that's what I feel like is happening here. Yeah. So I feel like, you know, it's a missed opportunity unless they're going to come to you correctly or something like that. Because I just kind of feel like if they come in a way of conflict or something like that, I feel like you just, you had a Strength right here to ignore them. Some of you right here it could be a Leo or Virgo. I feel like they definitely did want your attention. I feel like they're powerless at getting your attention. I feel okay. Eight of Swords right here. They're powerless. I feel right here at getting any of your attention for some people right here. All right. I feel like they definitely did want your attention or you know or something. What else is going on here? Air signs of Christ, Leap of Gemini. Okay. Yeah, seven of wands. I feel like it's a challenge right here, some way to get your attention or something like that. Or get you to look at them or something like that. Yeah. That could be fate. The will of fortune is fate is destiny. Okay, so for some of you, I feel like for some of you like, you know, that's fate right there. It's gonna take a whole lot of courage to get your attention in some way. Okay. Yeah. I just feel like you going, you leaving somebody behind, and you going towards your wish fulfillment or something like that. Somebody here want your attention. It's like you know how you just going to leave and go towards your your wish fulfillment and don't you don't you know acknowledge them or something like that. Okay, so I feel like they want your attention. They feel left out in the cold or something like that from your world or something like that. Okay. Um. So they could have been doing this either socially or they could have been doing this right here because they want you to nurture something right here or to be with them. Could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Could be a wife right here. Okay. What's the message right here? Five of Swords, Queen of Pentacles right here. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles right here. Yeah. This here could be money right here. Okay. Yeah. You know, and here's another thing right here. It's wishful thinking right here. They want to do something right here to, in, in the social setting or something like that. Could have right here because this card did say social right here. The Queen of Pentacles says social. 
So they try to do something here in a social way to either, either affect your money or, or whoever money this is, right? Because it is some deception right here or conflict in some type of way. I feel like they defeated because I feel like right here, they want your attention. They want to uh, they want to get your attention, right? I feel like you're you're avoiding them. You're ignoring them for some people right here. I feel like so they want to mess with your money right here for some people right here. Okay, if they come and mess with your money, it's definitely wishful thinking then. They're going to be somebody that's trustworthy, caring, and loving to you or something like that, get a sense. I feel like everything they do, they just mess it up even more or something like that. Or that's just make you ignore them even more or something like that. Okay. Could be a water sign right here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like somebody acts very immature here. Okay. Okay, so Ace of Pentacles flipped over here with Rose. You know, it's wishful thinking they could be somebody stable or trustworthy to you or something like that, I feel. Especially if they, if they mess with your money or something like that. Okay. It's fate. It's time for them to move on. I feel like you're ignoring them. Okay. Could be a Scorpio right here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like you're ignoring them. Yeah. They're powerless at being victorious in some type of way. Okay. So, I feel like because they was acting immature, I feel like they want your attention. So, they could have did something to your money or they could have did something in the public or something like that. I feel like um, they're powerless at being victorious then, you know. Because it's like the more, because obviously you was already ignoring them over here. Then I feel like they start doing something over here with the money in some way. So, it's like that's two strikes. So, so whatever happened already, right, is enough for you to ignore them. Then they come over here doing something with some money. They think that they could be victorious or something right here. I feel like their power is right here. Right here, eight of swords right here. They could have thought if they did something right. I'm hearing scrutiny. They could have thought they did something right here in the public or in a social way that you would you would you know talk to them or something like that. What's the eight of swords right here? Six of one. Yeah, four of swords right here. Okay. They realize they their power is right here. Okay. They're probably this is something right here. I feel like in the past they thought right here that something wasn't over in some way. But I feel like it's completely over over here, I feel. Alright, and the more they do over here, it's just making something even worse. I'm getting right here. It's like, oh, so now you want to mess with my money, so that's a problem too. Then I'm definitely not gonna talk to you now. Or I'm definitely not going to um give you some attention or whatever they want over here from you in some way. Okay. Yeah. They they have to be realistic right here. Okay. This could be somebody you're married to for some people right here. This could be a Taurus right here. Or you have wisdom and knowledge about something right here in the past. They're powerless. You have wisdom and knowledge about something in the past. Others right here. This is a marriage. Okay. We talked about this last week, I think. You know, somebody's husband or wife or something like that over here. Okay. They didn't want something to be over right here with you. In some way. They're contemplating how they're powerless or something right here. And I just feel like the more and more they do something, the more and more of a hole they have to dig themselves out of in some way. Okay. Yeah, it could be um a merge. Yeah, this is a merge for some people right here, air signs. Okay. They have to be realistic about talking about some merge or something like that. Or a house. Could be a merge or a house. Okay, they have to be realistic about a marriage or a house or something like that. So I feel like they want you to talk to them about a marriage or a house right here. Okay. Um, and I feel like for some of you, they're powerless at getting you to talk about that for some people right here. Maybe this is an ex. It's definitely somebody from the past. So it could be an ex right here. Even it could be a um an older landlord. They wanted you to come back and talk about a property or something like that. Okay, I just feel like you have wisdom about something right here. I feel like you straight ignore them right here. That's fate. I feel like that's fate. You're going to ignore them, some people right here. Or avoid them or something like that. Or avoid talking about this house or talking about something they did or um, talking about a marriage or something like that. I feel like you're avoiding it for some people right here. Okay, I feel like that pisses them off right here for some people right here. That you're avoiding them or you're not talking about some marriage or something like that. You know, or the house. Right here. They want to talk about a house. Basically. You get right here. 
Yeah, they want to come out of conflict right here or something like that. They want to talk to you, I feel. But I feel like the way they do it is not like, um, hey, I need to talk to you. It's like over here. Let me be deceptive of surrounding your money or something like that. They want to do here, okay? It's like, let me go and take your money then or something like that. I feel like they're narcissists. Yeah, set seven of swords right here. They either are narcissists or they're very manipulative. I'm getting right here. They're very manipulative here. I'm getting this basically. Because they don't know how to kind of talk to somebody like a grown man or grown woman would talk to somebody right here. They think, oh, let me take their money then or something like that. Right? All because they want to talk to you about a marriage or a house or a landlord. Something like that. Very immature. That's the truth right here. I just I just flipped this over just like that. This is the truth. That is the truth, I feel, for some people right here. Okay, I feel like they're kind of petty or something like that. Okay, six of pentacles right here. This is a card about the give and take, receiving money right here. They could be having hope right here to either get some of your money or to do business with you again or something like that. They was having hope to do right here. What's the star card right here? Six of pentacles. Could be Aquarius. Yeah, the moon card right here. I feel like that's in secret or that's the hidden truth. They want to get some money or they want you to do business with them. So like that, I get a sense here. That's what I'm kind of feeling, you know. Truly. Hmm. Oh. Anything else right here? Yeah. So I'm getting like, you know, that's the secret. Basically, I'm getting here. Archangel, um, where you see what the top is an arc is the angel of secrets, okay? All right, okay, even here, this is Archangel Joe Field right here at the top, which is the Archangel of Wisdom itself, okay? So I'm getting like some secrets right here or wisdom that you have right here, okay? It could be like some real spiritual wisdom I'm getting with these cards right here that you have about something, all right? All right, I feel like it's about money. Something here is about money. You, you know the secret is about money or you know right here, you have wisdom right here, okay? itself in general about you know this or something like that <sighs> cha 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 it also you know also could be like beauty hmm. even could be somebody who's trying to do something to your beauty as well over here okay i'm like this is deep okay because joe field could also be beauty this is the archangel of beauty too Okay, wisdom about beauty or something like that. Okay. They could be even doing magic on your beauty or something. I don't know. I'm not going to go too deep in it. They certainly could have been, okay. But, you know, God is your is your watchman. You know, God, the universe, is your watchman right here, I feel. Okay. With these cards and these archangels right here showing up. Like, you know, you're protected here. This is a true love of soulmate. I'm telling you. For some people, I told you that the other day I did a reading about the husband. I'm going to put the link down below. At the end of the video, we figured out it was the husband for some people here. Okay? Take a rest and leave the rest. Okay? But for some people here, it could be a husband or wife or whoever, right? But somebody right here that somebody's in love with right here. I feel like they're enemy in disguise for some people here. For some people here. All right? So that might not be a story for somebody right here, you know? But for some others here, it is. I feel like, you know, somebody... Somebody right here either wants you to fall in love with them or they want to do something right here with your beauty or something like that. Okay, I'm getting because they want money or something like that. Some sickening mess like that. Okay, I feel like they really, I don't know. Okay, okay, I feel like your skill, you know, their plans or something like that. Yeah, they have regret right here that you even know some of these things that they're doing right here. I mean, they're showing up enemy in disguise. You might know right here they was doing magic about beauty or something like that. You could know right here, they was doing something here about money, all because they want you to talk to them, instead of saying, hey, I want you to talk to me. They decided to do magic for somebody right here, okay? They have regret right here, because they know that you know their plans for some people here, okay? Because I feel like God is your watchman, or the universe is your watchman right here, you skilled right here, okay? All right, um, they even could be consistent about something they was doing here for some people right here. They could even pay money for something they was doing right here for some people right here. Okay, but I'm getting like your money is protected because I'm getting like with Archangel um, Joe feel that like God is your watchman right here. You're protected right here. That's the truth right here. Okay, and they know that you're protected right here. Okay, so they're like, dang, they want to reconcile with you so bad. I feel like they want to do it in an underhanded way. 
They definitely want to do that in an underhanded way to some people right here. As opposed to just being a man or a woman about something right here and say, hey, I want to talk to you. They decide to do magic and all the kind of stuff I'm getting right here. Okay, so if it's not your story, it's not, you know. And for some people here, it surely is. I'm getting that surely is. It's a second reading about it. It is for some people here. Okay. It's secret. They want to reconcile with you. So get right here for somebody right here. They could be doing all different things right here. They try to figure out how to be happy with you or how to have a family with you. You know, <laughs> I'm getting like, hey, can I talk to you and tell you I love you or something like that would have been, um, you know, appropriate as opposed to doing black magic or something like that. I'm getting right here. <laughs> loud i'm glad for some of you right you you know you do have insight about it okay so for some of you have an insight about you know how this person carries something right here i feel like it's the end for some of you right here you know and they regret about that because they do know that you know they was doing magic here in secret for some people right here okay it could be a cancer could be a cancer right here or here in cancer season they realize that you do know they was doing magic right here in secret right here okay could be a gemini or virgo Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Could be. <laughs> okay. Anything else right here? Is this like the hidden truth right here? It's the truth right here. It's the, the, um, the, the Ace of Swords is the truth. They know you know the truth right here. You believe in yourself. Or you're not going to give up on the fact that that's the truth that they're doing right here or something like that. Even could be some clear decision that you're making about something right here. So they decided to do a magic spell as opposed to talk to you. Or maybe they felt like they couldn't talk to you. So they decided to do a magic spell for some people right here. I kind of feel like they, just, they thought they couldn't talk to you. So they decided to do a magic spell about something right here. Okay. But they know right here that you're not going to give up about something right here. So like, you know. Yeah. So they're going to feel foolish now for something they was doing or something like that. You know, <laughs> they're going to get sure enough karma or something like that, you know, for doing some magic spell. They could be a twin flame. I don't know, but I got this twin flame card here. So they could be a twin flame or a karmic or whatever word you want to call it. You know, they could be in right here. But the fool, I'm like, they're going to feel foolish right here. I'm getting right here. It could be an Aries right here. Okay, there's something here is too hard. I'm getting right here for them to carry it in some way. They're carrying it right here. All right, they want to do magic and all this stuff. It's just, as opposed to just say, hey, I want to talk to you. Let me do a magic spell in secret. Mess with your beauty, your money, or something like that. Ooh, cha cha cha. I feel like you're waking up to it for some people right here. Or you might wake up to it. It could be a Capricorn for some people right here. They're going to have karma, I feel, right here. They're definitely getting karma right here. It could be the next three hours, three days, three minutes, something like that, three weeks. They're going to get karma for something like that. I'm getting right here. Definitely, okay? Yeah. Definitely could be an Aries for some people right here. Wow. That's what I'm getting. So, if it's not your story, it's not your story. And if it is, you know what it is. Okay. Anyway, we'll get back together again soon right here, Air Signs. Okay. I send you all peace, blessings, love, and light. Namaste to all of you.